I recently put together a guide on building this Space Wolf Blade God, and one of the most common requests that you guys left within the comments, both on that video and when I shared it on social media, was asking how I painted the Frost Axe. Ironically, it was probably the one part of this model that I spent the least time on, but you guys liked the effect. So, I'm Pete the Wargamer, and today I'll be showing you how to paint frost weapons. I started off with a frost weapon taken from one of the Space Wolf kits. Whilst I painted an axe on my blade guard, the principle is easily applicable to other weapons like the sword, or even non-40k related weapons too. I began with a black primer. I use Vallejo's black surface primer through my airbrush, but brush-on or aerosol primers are also fine. Alternatively, if you have primed or base coated your model in a different colour, then all you'll need to do is to base coat it with black first. After priming, I took some white paint. It really doesn't matter what brand you use here, but I used some of AK Interactive's white for this. I added a bit to my palette and thinned it out with some airbrush thinner. The consistency I created was closer to that of milk than paint, and that was important. I applied this thin white paint over the entire blade before allowing it to dry. The intention was to not get a perfect coverage here. I wanted it to be patchy, but still show a little of the black through in places. At this point, I had the base coat and the pre-shading, but I needed to apply some color. I opted to use some of the contrast paint, Ethermatic Blue. I thinned this out also, using a mixture of one part blue to one part thinner or medium. This was then applied over the blade. The first layer only applied a very subtle blue tint, and this is again important. I wanted to keep the blue fairly consistent across the blade, and applying the contrast straight from the pot would have resulted in a more patchy appearance. After the first layer had dried, I applied a second layer, and then repeated this until the blade had this ice blue appearance. The great thing about using contrast is that they're translucent. That means that you can still see the patchy application of the white through the blue. This results in the illusion of seeing through the layers of the ice. To add a little more variation to the blue of the axe, I next thinned down some Talisol blue in the same way as I did previously. This was applied in some small patches along the blade. I didn't want to an all over coverage here, instead I just wanted to emphasize the effect of being able to see through the various layers of the ice and seeing different densities of it as well. The final step involved using some more white. This time, I only used a small amount of thinner to help improve the flow of the paint. Armed with a fine-tipped brush, I then set about highlighting the edges of the blade. However, to create a frosted appearance, I applied the paint in a slight stippling motion to create a more uneven line of white paint. In addition to this, I also applied some extremely thin lines, perpendicular to the blade's edge. These created the appearance of small fissures or fractures in the surface of the ice, and with that, the blade was complete. And so, here we have my Space Wolf Blade Guard once again. I hope you enjoyed this guide and found it helpful. It's nice to do some smaller, more focused guides like this every now and again, and I'm always keen to hear what techniques you folks would like to see me demonstrate next. So, I just want to finish off with a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters and the folks who use my affiliates links. Your help is always greatly appreciated. And if you like this video, then check out my other guides, and please do consider subscribing. I also have a Discord, which you can find a link to in the description below. And with all that, all that's left to say is, thanks for watching, and goodbye.